Hi, welcome to our channel. This is a space where we're going to be talking about photography tips and techniques used in photography. Today we're going to be talking about clothes. So which clothes to choose during your photo session? It's a question that normally our clients ask. And you can get some really good and, and different results according to the color scheme you choose. So let's see this. What clothes to wear in photo shoots? So normally we tell our clients to choose classic and timeless pieces. And what do we mean by this? In the future, many years from now, when the person is looking back at their photos, they have to be able to identify with their photos. If the choice of clothes is a trend of the time that is not a trend anymore in the future, maybe the person will look at the photo and won't identify with the photo. So they might not like the photo unconsciously. They won't like the photo. Um, if it's a uh, kind of clothes that's always trendy, like jeans, always in trend, it's more guaranteed they will like the photos in the future. In this image, we see the mom chose a laced t-shirt, white t-shirt, very delicate and classic jeans, always in class, in trend, like trendy. And the baby is also using a white and jean um, jeans on the bottom, which totally makes a harmonic, airy photo. It's a beautiful photo. In relation to colors, invest on white clothes, pastel colors, jeans, and cool colors. So white clothes are, are guaranteed for you to get a more delicate and airy look. When we're talking about pastel colors, we're talking about light pinks, light yellows, so lighter colors, which will turn your photos more delicate, especially for family photos. It looks beautiful having that airy and, and make like very calm look. Jeans, always classical. <laughs> and when we when I say cool colors, when we're talking about cool colors, we're giving reference to blues, greens, and purples, which are calmer colors, and it will make your photos seem more delicate. In this photo, we see the choice in whites, and the background is very white as well, and it, it altogether becomes very airy and delicate and smooth, calm, which is an excellent result with babies and families overall. Think about where the photos will be and also the objective of the photo session. So if you're taking lifestyle photos at home, which is more like a day-to-day -day look, choose a more day-to-day -day look clothes, jeans, shorts, something more that people would use in their day-to-day. -day. If it's if the, the result that you want is something more fancy, choose a fancier clothes, like when people are getting married, a bride and a groom, or when they're engaged, it's a more elegant moment, and also choose an elegant space. In this photo, and it, and it doesn't only have to be an elegant space, it can be nature, a more neutral space. Studio is also awesome. In this photo, uh, the background are tiles from a famous artist in Brazil called Atos Bulcão, and it's a neutral background for this moment. The, it, the couple is engaged, so the choice in, in clothes was more elegant, but still following the same color scheme, cool colors, whites, which turn, which makes this photo, turns this photo into a very delicate photo. It, you can totally see how happy they are as well. When we're talking about pregnant women, so what choice of clothes? Normally long skirts for pregnant women are very nice because it makes them longer. And normally it's a time that sometimes they're, they're, they don't feel very comfortable with the big tummy. So it's good to have clothes that will make the, the pregnant woman more like slimmer maybe, what I could say it like that. And also maybe the choice in, in the top, don't choose gym tops. Try to get something with laces, something more elegant because the gym will give it a, like a day-to-day -day look. And here we want something more delicate, even like charming. A good tip that we also give pregnant women are don't go with tight clothes to your photo shoot and with the idea of changing the clothes there because it might mark the body. Um, and then in the photos that mark might appear. So go with more like loose clothes and take the photo, the clothes, photos, no, take the clothes you'll be using to the photo for the photo session and then change there. In relation to shoes, many times we say sandals are really nice or even barefooted. And depending on where the photos will take place, uh, sometimes there's a walk that we must have like a, I don't know, to get to the place, there's some time walking. So we would say to take shoes or take a, a more comfortable shoe, like tennis shoes or 
comfortable sandals so that you can get the, the pregnant woman or the pregnant woman can get to the place for the photo session and then there put the official shoes on. This is a beautiful portrait of this family. She's also wearing the white. Um, if the pregnant, if, if the mom doesn't want to have her belly out, tight shirts that really enhance the tummy is also awesome with the long skirt. Dresses, tube dresses are super elegant and super classic because they really make the, the pregnancy stand out. We normally say just to choose a solid color because if there's too much color, too much details in the dress, maybe the dress will call more attention than the moment and the mom. So try to choose one solid color and an environment that really makes her stand out. So a studio, outdoors, it really makes it elegant and classic. When we're talking about children, many times choosing clothes that are in similar in colors and or sim similar themselves, like the same kind of clothes, like father, like son style, looks amazing and makes the, the photo session really fun. And even if there's a sister, choose same colors, it will make the photo session fun and have it a family siblings look. It looks really nice. And here we see the window, the colors of the window really making it that moment of top with children, lots of colors, but choosing the more like lighter tones. Remember the color tones when you're choosing the colors for the photos. If there's children involved in the photo shoot, take something to have to give to generate comfort. Sometimes during the photo session, children become irritated, they get distracted. So maybe having a juice, a food, a toy, for the kid to put the child to play with that might make her calmer during the photo session and then afterwards you could it, she she or he the boy or the girl could cooperates more during the photos but also if you choose some toys that could look awesome in the photo session it could be a whole part that could be fun and something to keep for life something that the child likes liked when he was a smaller so here we see the little boy with all his toys and happy to be with his toys Never forget, less is more in lifestyle photography. Don't overpopulate with too much accessories or too many toys. Less is more to focus on the family, to focus on the child, and to really focus and portray the emotion that you're trying to go for. In this lovely photo, we see the whites are used, a not polluted environment, and the focus is really on the mom and her son. We hope you have an amazing photo session and we hope we have brought some new ideas for you to choose your clothes for your photos. Bye. See you next time.